And yes, welcome back to another match day. Of course we are. We're heading off to York City against Boston United in the National League North. I did Boone Crescent, their old ground, three years ago. But I'm going to do the new ground tonight, so I'm very happy to tick that off. And of course, calling to Fort Mob right here. Seven plays eighth. There's only three points separating the two sides, but Boston have played a game more. So it, it could. it's still in York's hands to get, get into that playoffs, but it's going to be a big, big ride. But yeah, very, very excited. And yeah, first of two new grounds this week. So we'll see you in York. Oh yes, I have. Oh, I've not arrived at the ground. Yeah, should be good. You can see it's almost getting lighter now, which is great. Summer is coming, that's for certain. <laughs> It's totally unique. Let's get inside because this should be actually mental. And so to the newest ground that I've done on the channel, I think. Yeah, it is the newest ground. This course has only been open a couple of years now. Correct me if I'm wrong. But it's a fantastic stadium. Real great from Boobin Crescent. Although, again, I'm a sucker for old school stadiums. I have to say though, I think as a front, I think he's absolutely fantastic. I need to come back here when your Thunder play. That's a turn for the Rugby League. But yeah, tonight it's going to be a tough game. York drew 3 all with Southport in the last game. That, and of course, Southport are going well in this league at the moment. They're in the playoffs as well. Boston lost to Gateshead. Looks a good game. If, you ever, if, you go, if you've seen Dan's channel and the video, go watch it. It's, actually, it's a good video. But yeah, good, two good sides tonight. I've seen both well. I've seen your play since 2019. Of course, that's summer against... It was Brackley, Brackley, it was second in the league now. Um, I saw Boston, last saw Boston in that Lincolnshire semi-final game against Gainesville Flat. I don't think many of their starting level was playing. So, I'm expecting a lot of goals, I'm expecting a lot of good games, a, a lot of good football tonight. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go with Desmond, I'm gonna have two teams tonight. So, see you for the first half. Whilst they didn't have full fat Coke, so instead I'm enjoying Diet Coke. Why? Yeah, the guys brought the drum down, which means there's going to be some atmosphere over there. Well, I'm hoping it's around there, so we can capture it. Go. Start of the game, good atmosphere, great people here, still goalless. Boston there. Two easy ones. I scored an absolute beauty. 
the problem is they've not not touched tight but you've got to say though what a goal Boston have taken the lead here I'll beat first man Great goal. He missed two. He missed two easy chances to score the beauty. Just sums up. Just sums up, up doesn't it? <laughs> but yeah, I would say it's been great. Both teams have been have been good. So but yeah, Let's see if it's second half. Boom. And we're back on the way. Start work. They want to sob. Right now, Boston are pushing the second here. At least they're still a good voice. Go on. Have a dick, son. Watch the fight, Sue. That could have gone absolutely anywhere. No one wants to go now. Chance. That was a chance. Here we go. Oh, that's it. Booze. Oh, Keith was giving it some. And uh, yeah, we'll speak in a sec. So there we go. Um, just got back. It was, it was a weird one tonight because both teams could play a lot better than that. No doubt about that. Um, certainly they've got the quality, but. I thought Boston did enough to win the game. Um, certainly, first half they had so many good chances. I thought they were slightly on top, and um, that lad who scored the beauty it was a fantastic goal. I mean, he, too, he missed, you know, he missed two guiltest chances. You know, he air kits one, he slices one, and then goes and scores the beauty. <laughs> it's just the nature of the game. But overall, I thought second half York dominated second half. They huffed and puffed, but didn't really. I would say had a guilt edge chance. They had a lot of half chances, and but they didn't really test the keeper as much. Um, but you know, they, I can understand the fans' frustration towards the end. Then the booing, the sort of slight boos at full time there. But the one thing I don't understand with with York, with certainly with John Askey, was why he left it so late to make a change. You're one nil down. You're chasing the game. You know, you want to be, you want to, you want, you want to be throwing the dice. And he did, he didn't till late, and by then it was too late. Boston pretty much, you know, were seeing out the game and fair play to them. They got the three points and they're starting to close the gap on York. It's going to be a really good fight for those playoffs towards the end. And one that I'll be certainly keeping one eye on, no doubt about it. But yes, another one ticked off. Make sure you smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, of course. 
And yeah, we're back on Saturday. Brand new video, brand new ground. Make sure you stay tuned because potentially we could see a title get lift. Peace.